9, 12 stalks of flowers consisting of 3 red flowers, so 3 red, 4 blue flowers, so just right here, 3 red, 4 blue and 5 white flowers will be attached into a string. Okay, string. So we see here when talking about string, so it is in brown. Okay. You can see my example in 8, I explain about a formula that needed to be used when we use brown. Calculate the number of ways to arrange the flower to make a breast. So we see here there is a string, right? Strings of flowers. So there is one more thing to consider when we are talking about just a normal round or when we make a string. So normal round of sitting. We need to consider where they sit. This one string also, we need to consider what is left and what is right. But then the clockwise and counterclockwise doesn't matter. So when clockwise and counterclockwise is considered as one, so we have to, for string, we have to divide by another two. Another two or two factorial. Okay, so this one is string. So here we see here we have 3, 4, 5, right? So 3 plus 4 plus 5, we have 7 plus 5 is 12. So here we have 12 flowers to be arranged in a circle. So we must 12 minus 1, right? And then we must divide. You see here there is a string, you must divide with 2 or 2 factorial. And then we must also divide with the same colors. Same type. Why? Because when we are doing this one, that means we are considering that everything is different. But that is not the case, so you have to divide. So 3 red means 3 factorial, 4 factorial and 5 factorial. So here you will get 5 factorial divided by, this one is 2, just use calculator lah. <laughs> 3 factorial, 4 factorial, 5 factorial and here you will get 1, 1, 5, 5. So you must be very careful with this one, string or bracelet or anything that is round. And the one that we wear, it doesn't matter, clockwise or counterclockwise. So we divide with another two. Then, an entrance test to a private school contains six questions in part A and seven questions in part B. So just write six in A and seven in B. Each candidate needs to answer ten questions of which at least four questions are from part A. So needs to answer at least means four, at least four. So four or larger than four in A. Right, so and they need to answer ten questions. Find the number of ways a candidate can answer these ten questions. So we see here must answer la four and larger at least for A. So we see here, we have 6A. So they can answer either 4, 5 or 6 question in A, 4A, 5A, 6A. But they need to answer 10 question. So if they answer 4 in A, they need to answer 4 question in B. 5 in A, they need to answer 5 in B. 6 in A, then 6 in B. So there is 3 probability. Either 4A, 4A, 6B or 5A and 5B or 6A and 6B. So, since we have all, we have to add up. So, here, 4A, so we know that we have 6A and 7B. So, here we have 6A and needs to answer 4 out of 6 times because A and B. So, for B, we have 7B and needs to answer 6B. 6. Since all we have 2 plus, so second one out of 6 in A must answer 5 times. So for B, out of 7B, answer 5 plus this one. 6A out of 6, answer 6 times. For B, out of 7B, answer 4. So here we will get This one is 105 plus 1 to 6 plus 35. 
So here we will get 266 with 